Hi, this is uh, James Governor. We're here at Adobe Max. Uh, there's some interesting news that kind of uh, hasn't been completed yet, but will complete, I believe, this Friday. And that is that uh, Adobe is closing the acquisition of Day Software. Um, I have Kevin Cochran uh, here from Day. And basically wanted to know a uh, simple question, how are you going to open source Adobe? How <laughs> are we going to open source Adobe? Um, I think the conversation is a little bit more broader than that. Um, what we're really going to look to do is really look to engage all aspects of the Adobe community, developers being a very key community that we need to engage. In particular, by getting them more involved in what Adobe is doing with more contributions to open source, better support of the open source community, and helping them help us innovate with some of the unique contributions they can do. So absolutely the open sourcing is efforts are very key for the developer engagement, but there's a whole host of audience. You know, you can look at the wall behind us. There's obviously a community discussion that happened with people writing chalk here on the board. There's conversations that we're going to need to engage all levels with developers, with architects, with minds of business, and I'm thrilled to have those conversations with people over the next year. I thought it was a bit cheeky to drop that one as a first question. Um, uh, one thing I should probably also say is, what, what exactly is Day Software? Day you Software, know, we're a leading provider of a web content management system that really specializes in helping, in helping people build multi-channel experience, whether that's for the mobile device, whether that's a tablet device, integrating all of their outbound email newsletters, for example, and doing this in a highly uh, globalized way so that the campaigns that you're running in the UK can be separate and distinct from the campaigns that you're running in Germany, for example. So one of the things that we bring together very nicely is we already work with leading global enterprises, people like a Kellogg's, a Daimler, a BMW, an Audi, a Volkswagen, and helping them- Any companies I might have heard of? Yeah, exactly. But we help them craft unique customer experiences for the mobile and desktop channel. And one of the key components is uh, those experiences, all of the creative assets uh, that you're uh, building with Adobe tools and technologies, all of the rich internet applications that are embedded in, embedded in those customer experience, which is all Adobe technology, all of the analytics and optimization around that, which is all Adobe technology. So frankly put, uh, our customers are already working with a combined Adobe solution staff for everything that we're doing here today. So it was a natural for this to happen. To, to be a little bit more fair in asking the open source yes. question, the simple truth is um, you, 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 you as a company, you both gained a lot from but also contributed to Apache Software Foundation. Yes. Um, one of the key technical standards emerging in terms of, uh, frankly, a more efficient Java is OSGI. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and frankly, I understand, you know, in my discussions with the uh, Adobe senior management, that that's actually been significant yeah. in terms of driving the deal. What, do you, what are the, What's so significant about these new standards? Absolutely. Day Software has long been a, a leader in open source. Uh, we are heavily involved in over 18 Apache Software found, uh, Foundation projects. Uh, the core of our underlying platform is actually composed of Apache Software components. Uh, our, our autonomous project being Apache uh, Jackrabbit, also Apache Felix, Apache Sling, and a variety of others. Uh, one of the core movements behind bringing together uh, Day Software with Adobe is Adobe's own commitment going forward to a lot of the open source standards and technology that Day was already heavily involved in either leading uh, or contributing to within the Apache Software Foundation. One of the most transformative, we believe, fundamentally, is OSGI, which is a next generation server application framework for building composite content applications, whether it be for the desktop channel, whether that be for uh, mobile channel or what have you. And Adobe already had kind of a strong commitment internally for OSGI as kind of the modern foundation for their enterprise solution offerings. It was just a, a, a very natural fit, once again, from just a pure architectural side as well. So I think one interesting thing about this acquisition, at least from my perspective, um, you know, I compare it to IBM, which can make an acquisition stick very quickly. They have a process they call it blue washing. I um, mean, invariably, the technical integration is done before the marketing. Um, so, obviously, these standards help with that. Do you think that you're going to be releasing some products pretty quickly? Uh, so the acquisition doesn't close until uh, this Friday. This Friday. Uh, so or there's in fact, no we should say statements. today. Exactly. So there's no public statements yet about the detailed integration roadmap, but uh, we are going to be very uh, transparent and very engaging, and there will be a tremendous amount of uh, communication around that, as well as you know one-on-one -on -one conversations. Uh, uh, with people, so you have to stay tuned until we're actually one combined entity. Excellent. Well, I will say uh, good luck, and uh, you know I think it's it's admirable goals. I'm glad Adobe's making the move, and uh, thank you so much. We're super excited. Okay. If you can't tell. Cool. Thank Thanks you. so much.